Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, today we'll be talking about the Docker. So at least we know what the Docker is. Uh, we can use the, the Docker and then uh, we can use it uh, to provide services. Okay, let's see what we can get in uh, one hour. So my name is Ahmed Mardiansha and I'm from GLC Networks. Oh, okay, so it looks like the slide is not updated yet. So let me check because this one is... Yeah, it's, it's quite old. Okay, I will, I will uh, update later. Yeah, <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be talking about the Docker uh, virtualization, uh, review some very requested knowledge, and then we'll be talking about Docker. Uh, and then introduction, we are GLC uh, based in Bandung, Indonesia. We are doing the networking, system administration, and programming. Uh, we also create our own uh, radius manager, and then uh, we have regular event like what we are doing today. So, uh, my name is Ahmad Mardiansha. I'm based in Bandung, uh, Linux, a uh, Linux user, micro, uh, networking user, uh, Microtech user, Cisco user, uh, Ubiquiti user, PHP user, <laughs> R user, uh, Python user, <laughs> and, uh, MySQL user, many users. Uh, I'm teaching uh, networking and assist admin and uh, programming. Uh, I'm also consultant, and then I have LinkedIn account here so that uh, we can connect. Uh, past experience, uh, we do mostly networking with uh, some programming uh, with integrations in overseas and also in Indonesia. And about webinar, uh, we start webinar in since 2010. Uh, I can see, uh, I saw one a person here uh, sign up as, as, as a presenter. Uh, thank you very much, Leah. Yeah. So if you want to share something, uh, please feel free to uh, inform us. Uh, and then for everybody, thank you very much for your uh, uh, participation here. Uh, I can see most of you are from Indonesia. Uh, usually there are person from, from, um, from a neighboring country, <laughs> uh, Malaysia or uh, Philippines, uh, but it's okay. Uh, uh, it just uh, get started here. Uh, prerequisite, so we assume you, you already know Linux administrations. Okay, uh, at least some uh, administration stuff and also virtualization, okay, like KVM or other stuff. Okay, let's, uh, let's start. Uh, we review prerequisite knowledge. So first, virtualization is a technology to build a virtual computer. Okay, so with virtualization, uh, it can run any operating system. Uh, the host could be a host operating system or guest operating system. Okay, so the host is here. Uh, yeah, and then, so this is the hardware. Okay. And then on top of that, you put the yeah, hypervisor. Okay, so hypervisor is the software that provides the virtualization, the virtual machine. Uh, it can be type one or can be type two. Okay, so this is type one, this is type two. So if it is type one and then from hardware, you directly install the hypervisor. So usually the hypervisor has, uh, has a CD uh, image where you can burn the CD and then install the hypervisor directly to the hardware. So it's uh, the, the, the boot. Uh, when when the hardware boots and then it will load the hypervisor. So hypervisor, you can see this is the basic OS, uh, the operating system that is 
uh, optimized for hypervisor. Okay, and then on top of that, you remove the hypervisor here through a web interface or any other interface. And then on top of that, you create the gas operating system. And then because the virtualization start from the uh, virtual hardware, so on top of the here, uh, on top of the every guest OS, uh, they have a virtual, uh, virtual hardware, like a virtual CPU, virtual uh, memory, virtual uh, internet card. Okay, so that was the type one and type two, you install a normal uh, operating system here, like Windows, Mac, uh, Linux. Okay, so you install the, uh, the OS first, the basic OS, uh, that is called host operating system. And then on top of that, you install a software for HIP virtualization. For example, the virtual box, the VMware server, uh, VMware players, uh, parallels, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, there are uh, man, uh, many uh, options for uh, hypervisor, okay? Uh, I mean, type two hypervisor, okay? So that's the concept, so hopefully, uh, yeah, you can grasp the concept, okay? And next is uh, virtualization versus container. Oh, okay. I think I already updated the slides, but why it doesn't show here? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So we already know the concept of uh, virtualization of the virtual machines. So the one on the left here is the VM. Okay, so this is the VM. Okay. Yeah, VM is just uh, virtualization. So uh, they, they create a virtualization, uh, virtual, virtual, virtual hardware. Okay. Uh, uh, so that the operating system can be any 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 OS. In uh, other alternative, like for example, container. Uh, so you install the infrastructures like uh, hardware here, and then you install the basic operating system, and then on top of that, uh, you install the container engine. And then on top of that, uh, you have a, a container. So it means that the guest OS, uh, there is no guest OS, so because all OS are similar. So if the operating system is Linux and then uh, the application over here, everything will be based on Linux. Okay. Yeah, so as simple as that. So why, why container is, is preferred? That depends on the situation. So if, if your, uh, yeah, the, the good thing about the hypervisor is you can run, you can run uh, any OS. Uh, you are using Windows, you can run Linux, you can run many things. Okay, so that's the uh, 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 hypervisor, the uh, virtualization, that's a good thing. Uh, but the drawback is uh, there, there are, higher overhead because you are emulating the virtual hardware. Uh, while the container is, is very lightweight, very, very fast, okay? uh, for a few seconds, you can already boot, reboot the, the, the operating system. Okay, so, so uh, that depends. Uh, we, I, I usually uh, install container when I use uh, uh, I have a project for uh, emulating a, a gas operating system. Okay, uh, for uh, application, particular application, most likely I'll be using container here. Okay, because it's very light, lightweight, and then uh, it can you can save lots of resources. <laughs> uh, when I say resources, uh, that can be CPU, uh, memory or RAM and then storage, okay? So we can save uh, resources by using container. And then uh, we don't have any problem with the container because most of our application are based on Linux. 
So we just install Linux and then we, we put the uh, 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 container on top. Uh, a bit of history of containerization. Uh, actually, the concept of container has been around for many years uh, since Unix. Okay, so you can see this is a uh, Unix when Unix is created. In uh, 1979, we have a concept called uh, change root, ch root, shroot, okay, uh, brought to Unix in 1992. And then inside they have, uh, they have a na namespace, okay, where uh, uh, a user uh, can have their own, uh, their own environment, uh, which is, uh, where, where it is isolated uh, compared to other users. And then it's called, this is na namespace, namespace. And then uh, in 2000, uh, they call it a jail. Okay. And then 2004, uh, this is Solaris, right? Solaris logo, yeah, we call it zones. Okay. And then in 2006, Google, uh, Google has uh, has their own uh, a concept for containers, okay? Uh, and then 2007, they, uh, we have Alexi, uh, Linux container. So because, uh, yeah, uh, be why we need a more uh, feature for container? Because a container is important. It can save resources, okay? <laughs> we don't want to create all virtual machines. <laughs> Uh, so, so uh, yeah, one one uh, initiative for Linux kernel is to create LXC. So it it uh, it's different compared to uh, other containers. It's, it's still a container, but it's much more uh, uh, a complete operating system. While other containers like Docker here. So the concept for LXC is similar to zones. Uh, they are, they are similar. So emulating the, the, the full operating system uh, with the, with the, uh, uh, a clear separation. Uh, while Docker is is, uh, is is focusing on a particular uh, application, uh, mainly for applications. So that's the big difference between LXC or LXD and Docker. Uh, we have also Apache Mesos for container. Uh, 2013, uh, Google also uh, LMCTFY. Let me container it uh, for you. Okay. <laughs> L, yeah, let me contain. I actually, uh, yeah, it's a concept container for Google. And uh, 2013, uh, it was Docker. Docker was created, and then uh, lots of people are. are are using it is very popular up to now. And then uh, to manage, uh, in order to manage Docker uh, container, uh, we need to have a management uh, software to manage all of them. Otherwise you have to, you have to create everything manually and that one is not good, okay? Uh, one uh, management software for, uh, this is Docker, uh, our topic today can be Docker Swarm, or Kubernetes, okay? So if you want to learn Kubernetes, Kubernetes is, is very popular. Yes, I understand. But in order to understand the Kubernetes, in order to use Kubernetes, you, you need to understand what the Docker is, okay? Uh, otherwise, just get lost. So this is the history of containerization. And uh, let's move on. Uh, this is a uh, root, a uh, change root. Uh, this is very, very popular in, in Linux command and Linux environment. So let's say you have a, a root here, okay? But you, you want to give a particular user so that they, they, are, they are using their own uh, change root. So they have their own bin. So it means that you are copying a file from here to here, uh, copying files from here to here. And then the way they log in, after login, okay, after they log in, they connect directly to the, maybe not this one. 
Okay, so maybe this one. So they they log in directly to the uh, change root uh, environment. Okay. So they can do anything here, but it will not affect uh, the whole system. Okay, so that's change root. Is it possible? Yeah. Uh, but not so many people are using it, but uh, in certain, uh, in some occasion, uh, for, for example, if you have, you need to, uh, what is it? You need to reset the root password or you need to do maintenance. Sometimes you need uh, to do a, a change root. It's very rare, but uh, some in some cases you need to do it. Okay, so that was a change root. Is it a container? Yeah, to some extent, yes. <laughs> because it, 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 will, it, it gives a, a clear separations of uh, what people can do. And then here we have a namespace, okay? So Linux actually, oh, okay. So um, actually uh, there is a need for, 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 for making separation be between one user and other user. Okay, it's because uh, we have a server, server has lots of resources. Uh, when I say resources can be CPU, RAM, uh, storage, and then also processing things like GPU, okay? <laughs> Uh, that one, that 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 kind of resources you don't have in your laptop at that, at the time. Yeah. Uh, so there is a requirement. There is a need so that uh, in Linux kernel we need to have a namespace so that uh, a user can have their own environment. So namespace in Linux can be in the user namespace. Okay. IPC, inter-process communication. UTS, Unix time sharing, mount uh, in order to uh, separate uh, mounting of, of a particular uh, namespace or particular users, a PID uh, in order to uh, separate uh, uh, process between uh, one user and other uh, users. Okay, and then network here. So, uh yeah we have six and then here the c groups okay so yeah c group is one of the uh a namespace <laughs> uh yeah can be can be considered as the seventh okay so c groups can can uh, uh can give a more more um how can i say more uh, isolation to those uh, resources, okay? So when we, okay, uh, from the hardware perspective, we only know that we have resources, okay? Like CPU, RAM, uh, storage, uh, other resources, okay? But when we install an operating system, uh, that operating system will have resources as well, like a user space, uh, process, Okay, uh, the uh, user time sharing, Unix time sharing, mounting capabilities, and then process. Okay, so that my process should not be interfere with others' uh, process. How can we do that? Okay, so that's why uh, in Unix, in Linux, uh, we have uh, features called namespace. I think the concept of namespace will also. Uh, available in other technologies like uh, PHP, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, if you are a PHP programmer, uh, most likely you will, you will use this, this kind of concept like namespace. It means that you are creating your own environment for PHP, okay? Why? Because sometimes in, in one big project, uh, you have, uh, you will you will require you will import you will include uh, yeah in, in in Python you you say um, import <laughs> in Linux you say include I mean in PHP you say include so there will be lots of there will be lots of uh, for example and when you create a library you have you can you will create a method right or functions. And then the name of the function can be similar because there are so many programmers, so many heads, so many brains, <laughs> and then they can, they can create the same name. So how to distinguish them by using namespace? So uh, 
yeah, to isolate uh, a certain uh, a particular a particular library from others. Otherwise, we have to create. Uh, uh, we have to we have to be very careful with uh, with our naming convention because uh, if you don't use namespace, uh, the name has to be unique. <laughs> So that when we push to the GitHub, and then we have to make sure that oh, okay, is there any any function that has similar name like me? <laughs> yeah, like like what I'm 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 doing. Yeah, so yeah, that's the the beauty of a namespace. Okay, so next is jail. This is one example of uh, FreeBSD jail. So you have a you have a host system, host operating system over here, okay, and then on top of that you will create a container, okay. So the container here is like a Solaris zones, okay. So its container has their own uh, a space, okay. So uh, they have a etc, they have a home, so similar like a, a mini operating system here, yeah, yeah, like mini mini os okay so uh, they are they are just emulating they just create a, a, a small version of 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 a host operating system okay so that's that's jail so uh, the good thing for jail is this one is hack they cannot go to the other jail they are isolated on that particular jail only okay so that's the jail. And then we have solar zones here. So same same concept. Okay, so uh, we have uh, hardware and then on top of the hardware is the uh, operating system. Okay. Uh, actually, this is the operating system, the host operating system here. Okay, the host OS. And then on top of that, uh, you create zones. Okay, uh, they, they call it zones, but uh, usually it's uh, same same concept with the uh, jail or uh, so, uh, uh, Linux container or LXC. Okay, zones with zones, you can you can you can say okay, zone one, uh, you can create their CPU, CPU, RAM and then storage. Also IO, okay? IO is important, yeah? If you are hosted on environment, because uh, sometimes uh, one container can can go crazy. Yeah, they can, they can eat lots of RAMs. They can, they can do IO because they are, they are uh, writing something on the hard disk and then, the next container will be software, okay, which is not good. So yeah, uh, the Solaris zone has ability to to limit uh, the usage of those resources. Uh, next is LXC or LXD. Uh, LXC means Linux container. LXD means uh, Linux a daemon. It's the daemon that means the container simple as that so same thing okay so same thing here so you have a real hardware you install linux on top and then here's the lx user space uh, for managing that and then you have a container so it's similar uh similar things uh so you have a full complete operating system uh, you have a etc. You have home. You have uh, you have uh, many things. Okay. So that's uh, why we use LXC. Previously, LX before LXC, that was uh, other solution like Open Open VZ VZ. Yeah, a long time ago. But uh, yeah, this. <laughs> Linus Torvald uh, prefer LXC co compared to OpenVZ. Uh, also, Zen, ZenOS is uh, also uh, like uh, virtualization here. 
I'm I'm sorry, a uh, container. Yeah, so Zen can be virtual or can be a uh, container. It can be both. Okay. Next is, yeah, Docker. So as I said here, uh, Docker started in 2013, so seven, uh, eight, 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 eight years ago. Yeah. And then uh, the good thing for Docker is it can provide a lightweight uh, uh, container uh, compared to others. I have, uh, I, I just found, I didn't want to create the slides because there are other slides that is, I think, uh, yeah, much better. <laughs> so I just used this slide over here. Oh, oh, okay, let me share. Let me share them. Okay, can you see that? Uh, the, the, can, can you see the slide? Hello. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, great. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Yeah, so this is uh, from github.io. Yes, uh, the, as I said, the Docker started in 2013. Okay. Yeah, a long time ago, uh, eight years. And then, oops. Yeah, and since then it's, uh, it has, it has lots, uh, it's got uh, lots of uh, uh, popularity because many people are using it. Okay. Uh, the challenge is, uh, yeah, as, as, I, as I said previously, uh, yeah, uh, we have, when we implement a, um, an application, uh, we need to do a lot of things uh, like a stack, for example, PHP. So previously, <coughs> sorry, uh, when we launch an application, is it using PHP 7.3 or 7.4? Okay, sometimes, uh, yeah, the developer create in their own environment. Right, so that's why the environment can be different. Uh, also, when we do deployment, uh, sometimes it's not uniform. Okay, so yeah, we have we have uh, options like this. Yeah, so this is development VM, and then we have a server. Uh, we have a, another server on site, public cloud contributors laptop and then so on and so forth okay so every each of them uh, has their own uh, version right so version 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 yeah. uh yeah so it makes us difficult to to keep track of what's going on so if something wrong and then um uh and then uh, yeah uh, we can uh, uh, who should we blame? <laughs> because everyone has their own uh, version of, of, of a certain technology like uh, a database. Uh, some, some people is using uh, Postgres. Okay, we agree that we are using Postgres, okay. But some are using uh, Postgres 13, uh, some are using Postgres, Postgres 10 and so on and so forth, okay. So this one is, is not good uh, when we are doing uh, development, especially when we are uh uh we have we have a team of development okay so not good so uh yeah a lot of things yes yeah, like a, yeah this is cargo transport in uh, pre-1960 <laughs> yeah a lot of things lots of uh things to carry that a lot of things to uh think about so yeah so if you want to transfer from a to b okay as, as, so this is a, uh, one analogy like a previous, uh, like a previous one here, a matrix from hell. 
Okay, so that's why we need to have a, a, we need to have a, a, a kind of a, a solution. So something that we can unify all of them. So uh, this one, uh, we uh, think that, oh, okay, uh, if we want to ship from things from A to B, uh, we need to, to, to have a standardization of how we uh, transport the things. And then here, okay, uh, for transportation, we'll send, we will use a container. Okay, so by using container, so it's up to you, container is this long and then can be stacked and be transported efficiently. And then uh, everyone is happy, should be happy. So same thing happens also in, in, uh, in, in software development, okay? So by using container, all of us will agree that, okay, so for static uh, website, uh, we will use the uh, stack of uh, Apache, for example. For database, we will use PostgreSQL. Uh, for uh, queuing, uh, we can use uh, Redis. Uh, analytics, uh, we use uh, Python uh, 3.8, uh, for example. So that those kind of things, okay, that, that those kind of version uh, will be put here in the uh, container. So the container will will put or will have a spec. Okay, container spec. Okay, and then you download the container into development of VM, you download the container into the uh, QA server, customer data center, public cloud, uh, and other stuff. So by using container, we are unified. Okay, any, any questions so far? No? Okay, so at least you have an idea about how container is, right? Up to now. Yeah, so <laughs> after implementing container, it's gonna be look like this because the spec itself is in the container and then it's easier for us to deploy in our, um, in our, uh, in our environment, okay? So, yeah, uh, why, why do we care? Uh, because, uh, yeah, um, yeah, with a container, for example, we can build once and then run anywhere. So we put everything in the container, including the source code. And after we compile, we create the container, okay? So the container here, we, we will create them. And then we put into the repository. Okay, that's how we, we generate the uh, application okay so that is which is good for uh which is good for for development okay and then from the uh, uh, system admin okay uh, it's also good because uh, it can configure you can configure once and then run many things okay yeah, a lot of uh, benefits uh, for sysadmin. So we don't have to install oh, Apache and then install whatever. Okay, everything already put into the Docker, Docker image. Okay. So uh, this is how it looks like, okay, between a development and operation. So that's why it's called DevOps. So this is the dev and then this is the ops, okay. So development, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a programmer as well. I do care of these things, okay? The code, the libraries that I'm using, a package manager, application, data, uh, and so on and so forth. I'm also doing the sysadmin. So I need to care about the logging, okay? Where should I go if uh, some, some, something is, is, is not right? Which log should I look into? Okay, what about the remote access, the monitoring, uh, the configuration, okay, the port, <laughs> and uh, so on and so forth, okay. So everything will be, uh, 
will be uh, unified into one single uh, technology, uh, which is the container. Okay. So technical details, yes. Okay, so uh, we run everywhere. We can run anything. Okay. Well, not anything, but the, the, of course there is a there is a limitation because if you run Linux and then the on top of that uh, you will you will be using uh, Linux as well. Uh, at high level, yeah, it's a lightweight uh, VM. Uh, actually it's not vm it's a container uh, we don't we don't have to in in virtualization uh, if you are using vmware you are be creating a virtual hardware but in the container you are not and then at the low level yes it's a uh, change route on steroids <laughs> yeah so it's like an enforcement of like a, a change route so in that container actually it's a change route it has its own environment for root. So it's got its ETC, its dev, its far home and everything over there. So uh, we have discussed this before, uh, the difference between container and VM. And then uh, for the Docker itself, okay, as I said, uh, Docker is different compared to LXC. Okay, because LXC is, is the whole operating system, uh, can be anything, but Docker usually is, is more specific here. Okay, so uh, it's, it's got a bundle for uh, certain applications. Okay, like uh, you have Apache, you have uh, a PHP, you have LAMP, uh, the stack is, is here. Okay. Yeah, so this is VM over here. And then, yeah, this is over here is VM. We, we already discussed that. Okay, and then they have a guest OS and that guest OS has their own bin and so on and so forth. Uh, with the container, you can see this is the original app. Okay, so actually what we are focusing on the Docker is the app, okay, applications. Where to some case, I don't, I don't use Docker because I don't like it because it doesn't satisfy my requirements. For example, I want to create the whole operating system that I can do many things, but Docker is very, very limited. So only, yeah, only, only, um, it's just only, uh, create some of the uh, applications and then uh, we will do, uh, for example, for, for accessing, uh, we will we'll do a, uh, a port uh, forwarding uh, for particular application. So uh, as I said, again, um, uh, Docker is more on applications. Okay, so if you are, I mean, this is my opinion. If you are using uh, uh, an uh, an container that has uh, lots uh, that 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 can do uh, generic uh, functions, uh, lots of functions, and then I think uh, I will suggest you to not to use a Docker, okay? Because Docker Docker, if you run an, a particular application, and then uh, yes, uh, you can use Docker. Oh, okay, I have a question here. What are the examples? Application A, B. Yeah, uh, application A is like, uh, for example, uh, I will this, uh, I will, uh, I will do the demo later. Okay, so there is a, uh, there is a, there is an example for that, uh, for Docker, for Docker application. Okay, so here the basic of Docker system. So you have a source code repository, and then. Uh, this is what we do uh, uh, when we are uh, doing Docker. So, a uh, Docker has like a like a GitHub. GitHub is the uh, centralized server. Okay, centralized server for 
uh, for code. So when you do some things, you push the, Git, the GitHub and then GitHub will record everything. So same thing with Docker. Uh, so for you, this is, this is you as a developer. Okay, so you run a Docker, uh, you create a Docker image. Okay, you create, you build. Okay, and then you push into the Docker registry. So it means like a GitHub, sorry, a Git push. Okay, so you, you do a Git add. So you are adding the files, right? Okay, how, how many of you uh, are programmer here? <laughs> uh, just, just wondering. Uh, just, uh, just wondering, uh, uh, um, you know when I'm doing, uh, when I say GitHub, right? So at least, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm programmer, so I'm using Git. So usually uh, when we do programmer, oh, okay, one, one hands, okay, programmer, okay, thank you. So, so we are programmer, we do code, we change code, we change lines, okay, uh, changing variables here and there. Um, so after we, 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 we change our code, uh, we will we'll do git add. So like git add, right, to, to add files. And then you do git commit, right, to commit what you are doing. After that, uh, these things is happening on your local only, okay? And after that, you do git push, push, okay, to push into the uh, server, okay. Yeah, and then uh, what if you want to implement? So this is like a repo, okay? You can think this is like a repo, like a GitHub server. Uh, yeah, repo, this repo, like a repo in, in, in Debian. Okay, repository. And then after that, you are doing search and then you do pull here. And then you install the Docker, that's it. <laughs> what about Apache? What about the uh, MySQL? What about the PHP? Everything is already there, okay? So it's just like a pull and push uh, into the Docker registry, okay? So is there, yeah, is there a Docker register? Yes, you can create your own. Yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, Docker actually is the managed by docker.com. And then they have, uh, you can search Docker image. Uh, here, Docker Hub, uh, in, uh, in, in CentOS or Debian, we call it repository, like packages, uh, Debian. Okay, so this is, for example, uh, packages.debian.org. You can see uh, we have lots of packages here. Okay, uh, administrations, and then, uh, here they are, okay. And then if you want to download, you can go to the, uh, to the mirror. Okay. Uh, yeah, here's the mirror. Okay, so everything's there. Uh, maybe Asia, South America, okay, maybe Hong Kong. Yeah, so here you can see uh, uh, it's got uh, direct uh, direct uh, download, direct URL, okay, here, direct URL to the files. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, now now Debian has. I just I just realized that Debian eleven already released a few days ago. Uh, Thursday, uh, sorry, uh, August 16 or 14, I forgot. So I was, I was teaching that time and then uh, suddenly, oh, okay, there is a new, new uh, Debian here. So let's upgrade all of them. 
Yeah, so here, uh, here you can you can check Debian package, and then here you can check also uh, Docker image. Yeah, Docker image. So everyone can see what's going on, what's inside the Docker. So that's why here, when who, who was asking here, Krishna Putra, okay. Uh, if you are wondering what is app A, app B, uh, here there are. Okay, you can you can uh, you can search yourself. Um, for example, database. Click here, database. There is database. There is a Docker for Oracle, for example, Oracle twelve, MySQL, Postgres. Okay, so Postgres only contains Postgres. You can see here. There's download, Redis, MongoDB. Uh, what kind of application do you like? Uh, Lamp, for example. Linux Apache, MySQL PHP. I don't know who created this. Uh, yeah, Lamp. Uh, Lamp stack for MySQL. Okay. So you can download them, but make sure, <laughs> make sure uh, it is trustable. Okay. Because uh, yeah, if, if you download similar things when you do, when you download uh, uh, application from google play right google play there are lots of applications there so make sure you download from trusted uh, vendors same thing here uh, lots of people uh, can can upload their image on uh, docker hub but make sure uh, can be trusted oh, okay you can click here verified publisher official images Clear search. Okay, here from the official image published by Docker. Okay, couch base, so on and so forth. Uh, Python, uh, see, uh, Python updated eight minutes ago. Uh, we can do that. Okay, we can uh, check what's inside the Docker Hub. Oh, uh, yeah, here is the examples okay uh, okay so i have question from ahmad muhajir are docker and kubernetes the same engine <laughs> yeah as i said uh i think we need to clearly understand between docker docker swarm and Kubernetes. Oh, not Docker, sorry, Docker. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, maybe this one is good. Okay, let's open in a new tab. Yeah, so, um, so uh, right now, so right now, you know what the Docker is, correct? Okay, Docker versus Docker Swarm. Maybe this one is better. Actually, it's not Kubernetes versus Docker, no. Uh, actually, what is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, so, so, uh, so you, right now you already know what Docker is. Docker is just a container. And then if, if in one computer you have a lots of container, uh, you will be overwhelmed okay you'll be overwhelmed why because uh, you do many things manually so you need to have a, a management uh, you need to have a software that manage those those dockers and then one software is called docker swarm okay so the question is uh, which one is better uh, kubernetes or docker swarm not Kubernetes versus Docker. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, so Kubernetes versus Docker Swarm. 
So some some says Kubernetes, some some says Kubernetes, whatever. So I, I will say Kubernetes, and here I call Docker Swarm. So hopefully that answers the questions. Uh, uh, next question uh, from Hasmula Marwan. Uh, any reference if I can make infrastructure Docker for software developers? So develop just push in get out. Yeah. So uh, this is how how you do that. Okay. So you can you can create. Uh, so do, hub Docker Hub here is is free. Yeah. As I as, as I remember. Where's the Docker Hub? Yeah, here. Yeah. So this Docker Hub is free. You can push your own image here. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, well, because this is uh, free, everyone can see. So if, if your application is a kind of uh, private uh, or a kind of, uh, what is it, uh, uh, not open source, <laughs> so better if you create your own hub. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is a very, very, very famous for uh, Hello World for Docker. Okay, so hopefully that uh, answer questions. So uh, if you are using Docker solution, it means that everyone must be aware of Docker. If not, then then uh, just just uh, using what you are currently use. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, you have lots of things here. WordPress, oh, okay, WordPress, yes, Debian. Okay, so that's that's how the Docker looks like. Yeah, so this is the difference between Docker Swarm and Kubernetes. Uh, Kubernetes has auto-scaling, Docker Swarm is not, uh, has a community, good community. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, configuration, uh, Kubernetes, requires uh, lots of configurations. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, many, many uh, companies are using uh, Kubernetes now. Uh, yeah. And uh, Kubernetes was uh, developed by Google and then they open source it. Okay, so that's how you uh, use uh, Docker. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Yeah. So if you made a change, so this is base image, you do modification and then you push. And then on the server, what you can do is just use pull. <laughs> That's it. You no need to configure Apache, no need to configure uh, this and that. So yeah, it's, it's very, very, very easy. Okay. So just update. Okay, so it's demo time. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, so uh, I think uh, for easier. Uh, Oh, let me share. Uh, can you see the screen? Can you see my screen here? Yeah. Uh, no, no, uh, my, my terminal. Uh, can you see my terminal over there? 
no no sir no 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 uh, okay okay it seems like we have problem um, uh -huh. not here okay let's change to thing. Is it working? Oops, it's not working. Let me check again. Oh, so please wait a moment. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, it's working here. Let me share the screen again. Okay, so this is it. Uh, this is a uh, live practice. And then uh, you can access here, live practice. Yeah, here it is. So uh, I'm on the user now. I'm on the server. Okay, so it's a live practice. Okay. Now I want to check the Docker. So if the Docker already installed or not. So um, yeah, so let's check. Do we have Docker here? Oh, no. Oh, okay. So there's no Docker. Um, so we need to update the repository. So I need to get update and then and then add the software here. Okay, it takes time. And then we need to, because we will add the Docker from the repository. Please, uh, Docker, 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 Docker. Uh, what is it? Uh, Docker, Docker software. Okay, the Docker, not the image. Okay, so we install the uh, key, and then. Uh, we add the we add the um, repository of uh, Docker uh, software. Okay, it's over here. So there, and then it should be available in here. Okay, so it's dev blah 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 from here. Okay, so we need to update our own uh, repository because uh, we have a, a new entries for repository. So here's how we update our repository, apt get, apt get uh, update. Okay, it works okay. And then we can install the Docker, Docker engine.
Okay, takes time to download. So let's see how fast is it? Oh, it's quite fast, 97 megabytes in uh, several minutes. Okay, so I have to make sure that the space is available. So let me check in the background. Yeah, should be okay. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, okay, it's done. We, ah, okay, so as you can see, docker minus minus help. Yeah, it, it, it says something there. Okay, so docker is already installed, done. Uh, what about if we uh, download the image? Okay, so I have an image from, uh, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, I think, uh, this is very good. Open, open speed test. Test Docker. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. This is just for test. Uh, okay, they, they have they have also provided. So as I said, uh, yeah, perhaps perhaps this is a very, very nice experience or testing how the docker looks like. Okay, so we can say like here, the docker run, restart and let's stop and then name and then uh, we are mapping the port okay so as i said uh, docker is more on applications so as you can see we do mapping we do mapping uh, port 3000 on the host operating system so this is this is a host oops oh, oh, oh. sorry Yeah, so this is port on host. This is port on guest. So we are, we are mapping from here to here. Okay, so, so that's what we do. Uh, or 3000. Okay, let's do it. So unable to find image locally. Yes, yeah, so that's why they are pulling from the uh, from the Docker Hub. Is there any open speed test here? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, there is. Yeah, so we can just use this one here. Uh, the Docker image is already there. We can just pull. Oops, problem. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, we need to restart the issue here. Restart the container. Wait a moment. Options. Features, nesting, views. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I need to stop the container first and then I will, I will log in again. Is it off? Yes. Okay, I will start again. Let's see if it is working. Okay, reconnect. Yeah, it looks okay. Oh, yeah, so, so it's already there. Let's start with this TUPLN. Do we have port 3000? No. Uh, 
Okay, so Docker PS Docker PS minus A. Yeah, so it is here. Okay, so we already download. And then for the port, uh, here is the, um, the the mapping. Okay, so what we do is uh, Docker RMI. So RM means uh, remove image, and then here's the container ID. So I will download, I will delete, and then re-download. Oh, okay, so that's just the ID. Uh, oh, it's force. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like uh, we have problem in this uh, server. Uh, let me check another server. Hmm. Yeah, okay, maybe this one, another server for playing. Do we have Docker here? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so we'll install Docker again. <laughs> Well, update the repo and then install some software. Uh, for the uh, guidance, uh, you can download from the Docker itself. So there is an installation for Debian. Okay, so you just follow the um, instruction and then you can, you can download from there. You can run, yeah, okay, looks good. Okay. Oh, where was it? Um, yeah, okay. Docker is there and then we'll install the uh, Docker. We update the repo. Okay, it's there. And then install the Docker. Okay, it's good. We're just waiting for it. Okay, here it is. Oh, it's fast, <laughs> very fast. Um, okay, so maybe we check this one. Docker PS. Okay, so it's not running. Docker start. Oh, forgot. Okay, hey, Docker start. The ID. Okay, let's check. Yeah, it's running. Oh, okay, so this one works. So, um, 
when we check, let's start with this TVPLN. Uh, yeah, we, we can see there is a, there is a port running on uh, 3000. Okay, you can try it yourself. So this is live practice. And then, Or 3000. Yeah, see, <laughs> it works. Yeah, it was, uh, there was a problem with the server because, because of, uh, yeah, this is download and then up. Uh, please, can you try uh, uh, the URL here? Okay, I'll, I'll post the URL in the group chat. Yeah, it works okay, looks like. Yeah, that's the that's my my internet connection. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, you can share yours by using my 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 uh, the URL that I provided here. All right. Okay, so I think that's all uh, for now. And uh, yeah, I think it's time for 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 having a having a, a photo session. <laughs> okay, so I will stop the screen. Okay, hopefully you can see it. Okay, guys, uh, please, uh, please uh, turn on your camera and then uh, we can have a photo session this time. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can you can check your uh, uh, at least you have an idea about what the docker is as uh, and then uh, as like uh, uh, well uh, from what i can see uh, this one is very very easy for using docker as you can see right <laughs> uh, you can just uh, docker pull and then if you don't like it you can just delete the image and then if the image is is has has some uh, difference you can re-download has an update all right so uh, uh, let me uh, start the let me take a picture okay one two three okay oh thumbs up one two and three yeah okay oh okay i can see some of the faces here looks familiar <laughs> thank you for coming uh hopefully see you uh, in the next uh, webinar uh also uh, for those who are new uh we have uh do not forget to to uh share uh, i mean submit your feedback here so uh, if you have any topic that will be discussed okay guys again thank you very much for the session uh yeah sorry for that uh, we have we have a kind of uh, issue during the demo <laughs> but should be okay uh i don't know can you share your uh, how is your testing uh through the uh, speed test speed test that thing on the uh how much is your bandwidth so you can share them here right uh, say again uh well uh, thank you again uh it's time to to stop <laughs> uh thank you very much thanks again and then uh, see you in the next webinar and uh yeah have a nice day <laughs>